Hi. Okay, so today with Mathieu, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the way to automatically, automatically generate uh, the best path for your depressor training. So first of all, uh, yeah. So let's introduce yourself, ourselves. So I'm Mathieu Rousseau. I'm currently student at ISEP in Paris. And next to my studies, I build my own company. So it's a consulting company where I develop AWS uh, solution and AI. Okay, me, I'm uh, Arthur Pass, and uh, I'm 21 years old too. And I'm a computer science student in uh, France too. And uh, with Mathieu, we won the depressor uh, in the summit in Paris. <coughs> Tu peux expliquer le problème Tu peux revenir sur le problème Ouais, vas-y. Ah, bon, encore Encore Ouais. Ok. Bien. Yeah. So, in fact, our goal was to build a general model which is able to compete on any track. So, if you had some noise, if you have some shadows, anything, this model should be able to drive without any problems. But, so, we have uh, we achieved to do this task with a pretty good model, but we have some issue uh, with the path. We wanted to have the best trajectory for all our models. So we had an idea. It was to design the best waypoints by ourselves manually, but it was too long for all the track. So we had the idea to build a trajectory generator to have the best trajectory for any, any track. And this is what we're going to show you. <coughs> okay. So, Uh, so we think that due to the policy of the of the car, the best path is the smallest one. The you can say the le plus petit, comment on dit? Shortest. Yeah, the, the shortest. shortest. Path. So because of the friction of the wheels, we can take. Uh, and how do you say the Uh I don't know. Because sorry, because of, of the um, yeah of the traction of the wheels. We are able to, to, to do the shortest path by, uh, by going as fast as we can. So our first approach was to use the ASTAR algorithm to find the shortest path on the track. Okay, so we implemented the ASTAR algorithm. So the ASTAR algorithm is uh, one of the most popular uh, algorithms in uh, pathfinding techniques. So in our case of study, uh, the obstacles that we see here, which are the border, will be the track hedge. And uh, so how does it work? There is a start node. For example, this one is the start node. There is a target node here. So in our case of study, uh, the start node will be the first waypoint of the track, and the target node will be the last. Then uh, there is a... Um, There is a, um, sorry, uh, a formula F égale G plus H. Uh, that means that F is the total cost of the node. So for example, the start node is zero, and all the next nodes will be one, two, three, four, five, etc. And the G is uh, the distance between the current node and the start node. And the H is the holistic estimated uh, distance from the current node to the end node. So the idea of the ASTAR algorithm is to additional uh, these two values to, to, to determine the next uh, point that uh, we have to go uh, after the point that we are. So I tell you that the best trajectory is the shortest past, but we notice that it's not a real case. So we had to find a solution to change the shortest path to avoid losing too many speed at any uh, corners. So this is why we used the real wheel feedback algorithm, control algorithm. So the concept of this algorithm is to modelize the behavior of the car. So we need the acceleration, the weight, We need also um, the maximum speed, and we need the track. And then we implement the algorithm, and we are able to change a little bit any corners to avoid to avoid losing uh, too many speed and uh, go faster on the track. Yeah, the real-world feedback control uses the PID controller, so PID uh, control uh, loop mechanics employing feedbacks, and uh, it calculates uh, neural value 
as the difference between a desired uh, step point and a measure process variable. So this is uh, this all for the world with feedback. So now we're going to show you how does it works. So. So this is our code. So we have a few tracks that we can uh, choose. So we're going to choose the last one of the current competition. Um, uh, I don't know what I put Okay, so here you can see. Here you can see the 2019 track. So we took the waypoint in the console, we plot the waypoint, and then we need to generate uh, the external and the internal path. So this is the first step of the um, of the project. So here you can see uh, the central line, the outward and the inward, and then this is a total track. And currently the A star is going to set to be set up. So in a few seconds you will be able to see the um, the A star and then the real wheel. So just need to wait five seconds. So like I said uh, in the Astro algorithm. Uh, the obstacles will be the inward and the outward uh, offset for sure. Okay. So so yeah, I, I will show you the result while it's uh, it's turning. So it's running. Okay, tranquille. Ouais. Attends, mais okay, okay. Ah shit. Okay. <laughs> so there is uh, okay. There is a, a small issue. So okay. Je vais le je vais le relancer. Je je foot derrière. Ouais. Ok. Yeah. yeah, it will be quick. Ok. T'inquiète, ça va normalement, ça va à 200 à l'heure là. Je sais pas si j'ai assez interpolé en fait. Bon. 5 Ouais, j'ai mis 5, mais euh, c'est pas. Ouais. On verra encore, ce sera dégueulasse. Ok. Putain, c'est bizarre. hein. C'est gênant un peu. Si tu veux quelque chose de très efficient, nous devons faire ça pendant 30 minutes. Mais maintenant, nous allons faire quelque chose de très efficient. Quick, but uh, with locality. Yeah. But in fact, to use the algorithm, we need to uh, to be dealing with integers. But the track is uh, given with a small float that has 2.356. Uh, so we have to multiply the any coordinates by uh, 100 to to have the. Okay, so this is the yeah. star algorithm with locality. Yeah. But this is the idea to to get all over the track to find the shortest path. And, and, so, yeah, no, it's just. and so this is a real wheel. So we are improving the quality of the path to avoid losing speed in the in the corners. And as soon as it is done, we then need to take the, the waypoints which has been generated and we're going to load all these waypoints in a Jupyter notebook to uh, to generate the perfect pass for any any point in the in the track. So this is what I'm going to show you. Okay. So here is the Jupyter notebook. So we have few helpers such as uh, the function to interpolate the waypoints, 
uh, function to calculate the distance between two points, the angle, etc., etc. And so, first we need to generate the track. So, what I'm doing here is I have taken the, the waypoints from the simulation, and then I'm going to plot them to show how well uh, the path has been generated, and I need to do some quick improvement to be able to use it in the console. So here's the current waypoints, the original. Then this is the waypoint generated. Okay, so this is the waypoints. So we have okay, so this is the waypoint generated. So as you can see there is there are many irregularities, so we have to modify them to have the perfect trajectory without any issues. Yes. Yeah, so this is the output of the histor algorithm, so yeah. So we have two methods for that. The first one is to decimate the waypoint. So first, we decimate. We take uh, only one one waypoint on two, and we do that twice. And then we're going to interpolate using uh, using a cubic uh, method and side by. So the waypoint has been decimated two times, and then we do an interpolation. But as you can see, we can still improve the quality of the path. For example, in these corners, and you can go straight between these two points. So then, we take the resulting waypoints after the destination, and we're going to manually modify uh, some points to have the perfect trajectory. And as soon as we have this trajectory, we are able to do that for any point in the track. So it's like it's a kind of a big grid with. Any point of the track, you can you can see on which path are you, and depending on this path, you are able to know uh, what kind of reward should the card receive. So if I am on the on the red uh, path, I will receive the the best victory. But if I am on the blue one, for example, the external one, I will lose uh, 10 points, for example. And then, once we have the path, we are also able to generate the best speed depending on any points. So just by calculating the angle between uh, the last point and the next one, we can we can know if the car has to speed up or to to slow down. And I think that's it. <laughs> so. Okay. okay. So this is the only one that we use. We just have to load the waypoints on the console, and then. For each point, we look at uh, uh, what is the closest path, and depending on that, uh, uh, we reward the car and we have a counter so at the end of the, of the lap. Uh, if the ma majority of the points has been on the best trajectory, she will earn a lot of points, whereas if it's a, a bad one, she will lose, uh, uh, she will earn less points. So, okay, thank you. Do you have uh, any question or? Do you have all that waypoint generator code available on GitHub or? Sorry? The waypoint generator code. Yeah? Is it, are you sharing it or? Yeah, uh, for the moment it's private, but we're going to make them uh, public, so. Cool. Uh, the Slack community? Yeah. Are you on the Slack community? Yeah. Okay, so I, I will choose them. Uh, I will add them on the Slack. Cool, thanks. Do you have any more questions at all? No questions? Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much.